Welcome back. Here in the U.S., someone has a heart attack or stroke every 40 seconds. And many of those patients can't get the medication they need due to stringent insurance practices. Here to tell us more are Dr. Seth Baum, president of the American Society for Preventive Cardiology, and Mahendra Mahaber, a PCSK9 inhibitor patient. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to chat with you both. Obviously, this is an important topic, and uh, you know the stats are there, one every 40 seconds. A doctor, what are some of the signs that your high cholesterol may put you at risk for something like a heart attack or stroke? Right, so I think a good way to look at that is um, the fact that LDL cholesterol, or low-density lipoprotein, or the quote-unquote bad cholesterol, has clearly been proved to cause heart attack and stroke. So we need to understand that. So when you go to the doctor and they test your cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol is high, you're at higher risk for, L for stroke and a heart attack. The high LDL cholesterol, high risk. Low LDL cholesterol, low risk. Lowering LDL cholesterol lowers your risk of heart attack and stroke. I would look at it that way. And Mahendra, you are one of those patients who is a little more high risk. What has your experience been like, um, you know, dealing with that situation and then receiving treatment from doctors? Well, I'm 43 years old. I've had four heart attacks. I've had seven stents plates. I've been ballooned four times. I have uh, five arteries bypassed. And when 2015 PCS canines came uh, to the market, uh, I was... Uh, hoping I was uh, uh, one of the first to get it uh, along with my doctor and I was denied over and over which I don't understand uh, why so that's why I'm here trying to bring awareness to what's going on and we're so happy that you are Dr. Baum uh, could you talk a little bit more about what the P, uh, PCSK9 actually does for these patients yeah PCSK9 inhibitors are very effective agents. They're new, they're novel agents, they're human monoclonal antibodies, so they're not like statins, they're not like other medications, uh, but they lower LDL cholesterol very dramatically, uh, up to around 60% uh, on top of statin therapy. Um, there was a trial last year that demonstrated that these drugs in people with established cardiovascular disease, uh, like Mahendra Mahabir, um, can lower the risk of heart attack and stroke and cardiac revascularization. And it, it, the, the, the trial was so uh, important that the FDA changed the indications for that drug. So the indications now are to lower the risk of heart attack and stroke and revascularization in people with cardiovascular disease or just to lower LDL cholesterol uh, in general. Obviously, always speak to your doctor about these drugs, though. Yeah, that's certainly helpful information. Guys, we thank you both so much, and uh, we hope that you continue to do well throughout your journey. All important health information for our heart.